Hi, this is Dr. Payne recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well on this beautiful Friday afternoon and thank you for watching this clip on exponential equations. The problem with exponential equations is that the variable is kind of buried inside of the guarded natural log here. So what we need to do is reduce this one down to a familiar algebraic um, equation, okay, where the variable is actually on the floor, sort of speaking. Okay, one thing we can do is we've got to combine them first. The reason we're going to combine them is we can use natural log to get rid of this natural log sign. Or actually, we're going to use natural log to get, actually, let's try again. That's, we're going to use E exponential to get rid of the natural log. There we go. When the two natural log are subtracting, the property of natural log says I'm actually dividing the two components. Okay, nothing changes on this side. And then from here, if it's easier to see, it's this. Natural log is really log with base of E. I think it's a Latin. I looked it up once. Okay, once you have the into this form, what you do is you keep the base, which is E, and you're going to swap, kind of like a gift exchange. Natural log of 4, x, x minus 3. This is what we mean by algebraic equation, in that there's no more natural log, and this is just a simple number. I agree with you, it's not a pretty number, but nonetheless, it's a number. Okay, from here, all we have to do is basically using a, what I call a butterfly formation to get yourself out of this fraction equation. I don't know about you, I never liked the fractional equation, so over the years I tell my student, draw the butterfly. So butterfly says, look, if you cross multiply, it's equal to x times 1. Okay, now we're going to gather the variables, uh, not e to the x, e to the 4 times x minus x is equal to, let's multiply it out, so 4 times e to the 4 goes over on the other side. Okay, now let's make sure I got it all correct. x, x, so this one is x, oh this is 3, I don't know how I got a 4 in there. So e to the 4, this is a 3. Oh, I'm making a mess here. Bear with me. Okay, so 3 times e to the 4. Now let's see, I'm going to make sure e to the 4th Minus 1 and 3. Okay, now let's pull the x out. So we have e to the 4th minus 1 is equal to 3 e to the 4th. Okay, one more step, dividing, and we're almost there. 3 e to the 4th, e to the 4th minus 1. And if you plug into the calculator, this is roughly equal to 3.56 or so. Uh, whenever I think of the natural log and exponential, I always remember my old professor who I learns of the natural log from. And he reminds me of this Alan Grant span. All right, all right, back to math. So a quick review. When you have a natural log, get it down into the exponential form, transform it into the algebraic equation, and then gather the variable. Um, this is not a pretty number, but nonetheless, it's a number. Okay, so from there, it's pretty easy to solve. All right, that's how we handle exponential equations. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun and easy while well, it's trying to. Please comment or thumb up if the vids has been helpful. Until next time, have a confident day.